guys, today is day three of my Insanity Max 30 journey. I got sweat intervals. Last time I did this workout, when I was doing it full force, full throttle, I got 615 when I maxed out. So I'm excited to see with the modified version what that's going to look like today. Um, sore a little bit from yesterday. My triceps are killing me and my chest a little bit sore from Tabata Power. So that'll be interesting to see how that plays into things. But I'm just so excited, guys. I'm excited to get my sweat intervals on, get in there, see what it's all about. I really, really love this um, modified version. It's just it's what I'm doing for me. I know I could be out there like pushing and you know, this program might be something that you might be interested in or this over here is more extreme and probably in line with what I need to do, but I'm choosing to do this program modified for me. And I love that. The pressure's off. You really just get to focus on your health and fitness and doing something good for yourself every day. So I'm really, really enjoying it. I hope you are too. I'd love to hear your comments or questions um, on the YouTube video so that I know that you're following along or what you want to see more of or what you want to hear about. But anyways, let's get sweat intervals on and I'll talk to you guys about it at the end. Alright guys, I maxed out at 12.32 in sweat intervals, and that was no freaking joke, guys. Like, you you think that you can't get to the puke zone, or you think that you can't get, like, a burn and a sweat and, like, gas where you have nothing left to go, like, modifying, you can. My heart rate got up to 194 um, in some of the moves. I felt nauseous trying to hold my core and get in and go really um, on a lot of the floor work where you're doing a ski ski abs, that type of stuff. I don't remember the move that I maxed out on. I'll have to check it in the video. Uh, if you guys are watching, you see that I put the actual max out moment there for your enjoyment of epic fail, face plant to the floor, or falling out of the move. Whatever it is, I want you guys to see it in its true glory because that's what it is. I'm pushing myself to my very max. I'm very proud of my ability to do that, and I challenge you guys to do it as well. Uh, sweat intervals is a tough workout. Like, when you don't modify, this is the one I think that it just kills you. It's so much cardio, so much fun, but it's hard. This is a hard workout. In the warm-up, in the very beginning, I was sore. The very start, my chest was sore. Um, so doing those like openers was killing me. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't max out in the warm-up. This is insane. Um, but you feel it. You feel every muscle in your body working because you're lifting your own body weight through these workouts and you're pushing and pushing. And so, like I said, it's a great workout. I had a great time doing it maxed out um, before the halfway point one of these days. I'm going to get halfway without maxing out, but I would push myself to my max and I was proud of myself today. So hope you guys are enjoying this. Tomorrow I got uh, Tabata Strength. I know on the workout calendar that um, Beachbody gave out, it says Tabata Power twice, but Shanti says um, that you really shouldn't do the same workout. In the, he never designed it for you to do that same workout in the same week. There's nothing wrong with it, but you'll get a better workout and a better well-rounded program if you put Tabata Strength in for day four. So that's what I'm going to do, Tabata Strength, tomorrow. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Please like it and comment below so that I know you're watching and I'm not just talking and talking and talking to nobody because I could do these workouts at home on my own. But I do this for you guys and I hope that you guys are getting something out of it. I will talk to you guys tomorrow for Tabata Strength.